Doesn't matter what she said. <clears throat> Seize him! Oh shit. Nero! Hey Russ, good to see you buddy. I'm doing better today than I was the past few days, man. Thanks for checking in, homie. Thank you, Sly, for the tweet. I appreciate you dropping by, Russ. Much appreciated, man. I, your Chancellor, shall serve as prosecutor. Yeah, I, Pierre, represent the defense. Members of the court, I will now bring forth the defendant, Nero. Who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia? Is she your favorite sequence in the SNES RPG? Nice. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler? Or hang upside down? Or shall we employ the guillotine? See you later, Russ. The choice is yours, good jurors. Now, let us begin. We shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Oh, that was the judge, my bad. Uh, Nero is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? The prosecution would have you believe that the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite the contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Nero if she could join him. Is this true? Who was responsible for initiating contact? Are you so certain? Our witnesses say that you were the one who bumped into the princess. Oof. Eh, it's a bit 50-50. Having subdued the princess, the defendant then coerced her into visiting Krez's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Hey, what's up, Jet? Thanks for dropping by, man. Hope you're all right, dude. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that is not criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Summer like that, HLA. Summer like that. What's up, my God? Good to see you, man. Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Objection! This cannot possibly have any relevance to the case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Nero's character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have nothing to hide. I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. That man brought me... That man brought me my kitty bag. Thank you, Russ Jericho, for the retweet, sir. Much appreciated, man. That man brought me my kitty bag. Thank you, mister. How about that? The man before you is a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not put on trial. Phew. Looks like they're buying it. <laughs> have you ever stolen anything? I don't think I have. Oh, I guess I, I steal from the uh, from the chest all the time, right? I'm doing a lot better today, Marco. Thank you, dude. A lot better today, buddy. Do not feign innocence. We have a witness. Oh, piss. Oh, I stole his lunch. I ate his lunch! That's him! That's the thief who ate my lunch! Right off the table, too! 
My dear wife worked all morning to make that meal for me. Shit, I did as well. I didn't do it like that. I didn't be all sneaky with it. Shit. Forgot about lunch. Stealing from a helpless, hard-working citizen who only wished enjoyed to enjoy the fair. How could anyone sympathize with such a ruffian? The real issue here is the motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to, kidnap, uh, to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Jinxkins, what's going on, man? Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear. Greed. Her fortune did tempt you, did it not, Nero? Scumbag Nero. Hey, hey. Look at the size of me. I'm like a Snorlax. If I don't continually eat food, I'm gonna fall asleep. I gotta save a princess here. You don't want me falling asleep. I had to eat the food, otherwise Princess Kiri would be dead. You don't want Kiri to be dead, chat. If, if you want to kill anyone, kill Krajon, but not Kiri. Kiri is an upstanding princess who looks gorgeous. She's a vision of beauty in that sexy little white dress number that she's wearing. If I didn't eat that man's lunch, we wouldn't be here. Princess would be dead. <laughs> Good to see you, James Kins. <clears throat> Her fortune did tempt you, did it not, Nero? No. Are you sure? You weren't in the least bit tempted. Not at all. Good people, please remember that the defendant claims he had no interest whatsoever in the princess's wealth. Allow me to introduce our next witness. Oh no, that weapon salesman! I didn't even know that I, I saw it with my own eyes! Dear me, I I'm so nervous. That man grabbed the pendant right after he bumped into the princess, before he even to check to see if she was okay. Bullshit! 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 He tried to sell it to a merchant named Melchior! Bullshit! I was with the lady! Oh my, that pendant is... Dear me, I haven't the money to buy a thing like that! Keep it safe, that is a valuable shrinkage you carry! Oh, is that all I can go now? <laughs> Goodbye, everyone! Nothing more, Your Honor. The prosecution rests. Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. If you believe the defendant guilty, stand to the left. Innocent to the right. Guilty. Guilty. Fuck, it's like, it's like good. Not guilty. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Guilty. Fuck. Not guilty. How many? Is there 12 members of the jury? Guilty. Fuck. 4 to 2. Guilty. Fuck! Come on! This is bullshit! I didn't even know! Order in the court! A verdict has been reached! The defendant has been found guilty as charged! He is to be placed in solitary confinement for a period of three days, after which he will be executed for his crime. EXECUTED?! Fuck me! Take him away! Princess Nadia! That's quite enough, young lady. But, Father... All I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done. Even royalty must obey the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the Chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. 
We are through here! I did almost every bad thing I could do. Shucky ducky, quack quack. Guilty as fuck, you know it. Ignorance is no defense, I guess so.